Hey guys, Zapophilia here, and today we're going to be testing which of the two Leech Legendary Pilots is better. So we just got Isabella Porter from the operations. Her ability is Isabella's devices damage redirected by the ability is increased to 60% from 35% while the incoming damage is reduced to 70% from 90%. So this pilot uh, on the leech, the leech is going to redirect more damage almost twice the damage it was redirecting before and it's also going to take a little, sorry not little, it's going to take more damage while its ability is active. Now Thomas Mindred, plain and simple, he gives a 15% speed boost. The leech, um, the stats are right here, the max speed is actually 55 and Thomas Mindred, to get our pilot skills, can give it a 45% speed boost. So, feast your eyes on the naked leech, it looks really really good even without any weapons. I know most people won't have seen it in this form because it comes with stock weapons but well done to Pixonic on the design, especially the in-game animation and we're going to use this naked leech so that we can only test resistance, sorry, we only test ability damage. First of all, we need to start with Isabella Porter because I watched the video by Ad Gaming, and apparently there's a bug, so firstly we'll test that out and see for ourselves uh, with this special testing method. So let's jump into the game. Big and rush as usual. Okay, so we've landed on Rome, starting out with the leech. The goal here is just to find a good opponent, uh, preferably not one that has resistance so we can calculate the damage properly. And this bot looks really interesting and surprisingly enough the leech can survive in the state one of the only bots uh, along with the aries that can actually do this successfully okay so we found an aries right now and he's a perfect target because no one else can hit him through the shield so all the damage he's getting is from us and you're seeing all the damage right there it's not really much so let's go back and do the math. So Isabella Porter, mm, I, my, my health durability went from 113 to 77, that's about 36,000 damage. Uh, calculating out the 70% resistance, I took 120,000 raw damage, meaning that Aries should have gotten 72,000 damage leached back at 60% and clearly that is not happening. So yes there's a bug <clears throat> there's a bug with this pilot currently but we can still compare the pilots because we can just do the maths and that's what i'm going to do in this video let's go for the aries again so you can see i'm the only one that has access to the aries because his retribution shield is up and it's not doing any damage at all so for now, don't use Isabella Porter until Pixel fixes the glitch. Now, before we test Thomas, I thought of changing the modules because I realized something new about the Scarab and how it looks absolutely perfect with the jump module, jump units. I mean, as though the game made it for uh, the skin. So Thomas Mildred. We know his uh, legendary skill, 15% speed boost, he has jumped into the battle. So, yeah, same thing, we're just going to try and find a good opponent. Hopefully, uh, in this video, I did the jumping thing with the scarab. If it's not this video, it's the next one. Okay, now it's probably not this video. Jumping while the ability is active, you should see it. And I guess around here I saw another leech, which was a terrible opponent.
and there's a leech right next to me now doing his business look how it's staying alive it's coming out into the open because it has that resistance so i saw this leech and jumped to the other side because worst case scenario is i'm going to have a leech versus leech and then we can't calculate any damage so i uh, tagged that specter i think and came over here to taunt out some damage from these guys and now you can see although it didn't last very long it was much better than the Isabella Porter. So another test with the Thomas Mildred Leech and you're about to see that special effect I was talking about. Look at how awesome that looks. It would have been better if I knew before now. This was when I figured it out. The jump unit goes perfectly well with the Leech animation. The same color matching team really great work from pixonic it's going to be a really fun bot to look at while using so we're going to try and get another chance to leech again although the damage we are clear of it it takes 90 sorry it has a 90 percent resistance meaning of all the damage the leech takes the normal leech or the thomas Mildred leech it takes only 10% out of that, and that is insane. So even without weapons, I'm not really afraid, so long as the ability is active. And of course, I'm also giving back 35% of it to someone else. So now, let's compare the two pilots. But since I landed on factory, I had this crazy idea to test if I could leech out the toxic waste damage. And that's just what I'm going to try and do in this clip shortly before I compare the uh, pilots in terms of stats and show you all the numbers involved with durability and damage redirected and stuff like that. Not a good target. So basically I'm trying to leech onto someone and get into one of these toxic pools and see if they take the damage instead of me. And look, that is no doubt a maxed out Ravana because I'm in Champions League and look how much damage I took from its cry. That is the power of 90% resistance. Didn't work out right there, but I think I'm going to leech onto a leech somewhere over there to the right. Okay, yeah. that looks like the leech. Okay, so I'm going to leech onto this leech, as crazy as that is, and land in this pool. Would have been awesome if I knew the landing. And look at this thing, guys. I don't know if you understand how confusing this is, but we're leeching damage to each other and I'm also taking toxic damage. But clearly a lot of the damage I'm taking is from the toxic waste and it seems to bypass resistance. Although it shouldn't do that because I've seen a lot of Falcons walk through there. But it didn't work out. So comparing to pilots, the max HP a leech can have is 150,300. A normal leech, not the Scarab leech that has a 10% boost. Then, based on 90% resistance, a Thomas Mindred Leech can take 1,503,000 damage while its ability is active, while Isabella Porter can only take 526,000 while its ability is active because it has a 70% resistance. And it seems extravagant, but that's how resistance works. It is about three times more damage that the Thomas Mindred Leech can take. But on the contrary, the Thomas Mildred leech can only leech out 526,000 damage compared to its HP and the Isabella can leech out 300,000 which is very much, very close to the amount of damage it's getting. So now to compare these two pilots, we first of all we're going to consider them against uh, other bots in a 1v1 situation. In a 1v1 situation in this case, most people won't actually shoot at the leech but what you're saying here is in order to do this 526,000, it's much more than the Isabella Porter but remember you have only 10 seconds to do this damage and it's 
very impossible for anyone to do 1.5 million damage in 10 seconds that's a single opponent so you're not going to be doing much damage you're basically going to be telling him don't hit me but in the case of the isabella porter very little damage is easily converted back to him but the trade-off is you don't have that much resistance so someone could decide to hit you although in a one one situation if you're leeching onto the person he definitely won't be hitting you but i don't see that much of a difference they're just going to not hit you while your ability is active but then against many groups this is why the thomas mendred version is better because he can get a high amount of damage from a group of enemies and then leech it onto one person and clearly you can leech more damage than isabella but in isabella's case if you go up against a group a group of people can easily get 500,000 damage in the current meta i mean we have storms we have cryos we have infinite ammo weapons we have lots of stuff and remember there's only 10 seconds so thomas mendred is much better in a group battle situation isabella has uh, an advantage in a 1v1 but it's unlikely that anyone is going to hit her unless she the pilots the commander uh, does some sort of trick maybe waits for them to fire and then leeches the damage out but then i still don't see any significant change really i can't say if it's a nerf or a buff and then against titans titans bypass resistance so none of this really matters but i'm guessing isabella might do more damage back to the titan but at the same time will still die faster because 1.5 million compared to 500,000 is very significant even though the titan weapons do bypass resistance so in my opinion thomas mindred is the better pilot i mean you get a bonus of 15 percent speed which can be used to close in or run away depending on your weapon loadouts and yeah that's what i'm seeing right now i don't see any particular use for isabel porter to be honest but maybe if pixonic increases her resistance from 70 percent to 80 percent then possibly she could fit into the niche niche but right now it looks more like a nerf than anything else and it's probably a letdown for legendary pilots but the bright side is that it's free and guys that's it for this video thanks for watching leave a like yeah. share subscribe please subscribe and as always still